details that were out already didn't prepare anyone for what was heard in court today. As Colonel Russell Williams pleaded guilty to two murders, two sexual assaults, and more than 80 break-ins, and many were described in detail. Along with each count came graphic photo evidence and a clear pattern to Williams' escalating crimes. You should be aware some of the facts are highly disturbing. Peter, the evidence presented in court today painted a chilling portrait of a predator who escalated from break and enters to sexual assault to murder, giving the public its first real glimpse of Russell Williams' criminal mind. It's the most graphic insight into Williams' double life, and it started soon after Williams shuffled into the courtroom, shackled and pale. In a voice that was at times barely audible, Williams pled guilty to all 88 charges against him. Then, slumped in his chair, his eyes downcast, he listened expressionless, while the Crown exhaustively recounted the case against him. Until now, it's been reported Williams would steal women's undergarments and clothing when he broke into dozens of homes in Tweed and Ottawa. But what emerged in court was even more disturbing that Williams often targeted the homes and the belongings of young girls. The first such incident occurred near his home in Tweed, starting a pattern that would be repeated over and over again. Today, the court released 27 photos taken by Williams himself, all of them in his own home. Of the thousands of pictures he took of lingerie stolen from drawers, closets, even laundry baskets, William laid them all out meticulously, and he tried them on. There were several similar photos released, but the CBC chose to crop them. In court, there were many more graphic pictures shown of Williams masturbating while wearing stolen garments. Police say Williams often spent hours in a given home, especially in the bedrooms of young girls he had stalked. It's very disturbing. It's very troubling. Uh, my, I, my hat's off to the investigators that worked full-time on this for months and months and months to sift through this information. And there was a lot of information to sift through. Williams kept meticulous logs of every single crime he committed and buried those logs and photographs deep into his home computer's hard drive. And the Crown argued his obsession with photographs and videos continued when he took photos of the sexual assaults of Marie-France Como and Jessica Lloyd and video of Como's murder. That evidence has yet to be released. Lloyd's family is bracing for a devastating week.